Hi, I'm Quinn Lewandowski with the UW-Whitewater Learning Technology Center, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Windows Live Movie Maker 2011. In this first tutorial, we're just going to go over the basic layout of the program and show you how to add things such as video, images, and music to your project. One of the first things you'll notice in Windows Live Movie Maker is this large box on the right-hand side of the screen. This is a great place to start your project by adding different media. We can click on it, and it will open up a browser window that lets us search our computer for images, video, audio, or anything else that we might want to add to our video project. Right now, it already has my wildlife WMV pulled up here under my videos folder. I can click on it and hit open. And now we can see a visual representation of my video. This black bar represents where at my video I'm currently looking. And as I scroll through, you can see the left hand side of the screen matches where the bar is at. I can move backwards, forwards, stop, go slow, go fast, or anything in between. This brings us over to the left to the preview window. This is just a representation of what our video looks like right now, if we were to finish it and export it right now. We have our basic window showing the video. We have a bar that shows how far along we are in our video. And we have play controls such as play, pause, or steps that make us go one frame forward or one frame backward. We can also see over here that it shows us the total length of our video. Right now it's just over 30 seconds and we have a button here that will let us preview our video in full screen mode. The last major area on the screen right here is this large set of panels and buttons collectively called the ribbon. The ribbon up here is where we're going to do a lot of our work on these tabs, adding things such as transitions, visual effects, titles, etc. It's also got a button here so we can add more files to our video project. I already added this video but now I want to add in a still image. So I'm going to go to my desktop, find the folder that my images are in, Whitewater, and I'm going to import these two pictures of Willy the Warhawk. Hit open, and we can see that they're placed down in our project. Now, as we can see, our video comes first, and as we continue scrolling through, if we hit play, we can see it goes right into our images, which are just stationary for right now. If I decide that I want these in a different order, if I want my this image to come first, I can simply click it, drag it up here, and now it's first. If I want to move this one, I can do the same, and I can do this as many times as I want to get things where I want. Another thing that we might want to do is add music to our video. To do that, click the button right next to the Add Videos and Photos button, Add Music. We'll add music. We'll go to our music folder where we're at right now. I'll click Sleep Away MP3 open and now we can see that the music goes the length of our pictures. So there you have it. That's a basic layout of Windows Movie Maker. We have our timeline or project window right here. We have our preview window over here and we have the ribbon for doing various effects, titles, etc. which we'll get into later.